Hi guys, today we're going to show you how to quickly get started engraving awesome projects with the Zoom Precision Toolkit. If you have not purchased this yet, click on the link below. When you receive the kit, these are the materials that are in it. The three types of stamping blanks, the tool, and the best part of all is the three etching tips. Precision, regular, and blunt tips all to help with specific projects. In today's project, we are going to be using the one inch circle that comes in your kit, and you will also need your normal mat and some double-sided tape. Now let's head to Cricut Design Space to show you how to get started. All right, everybody, here we are at Cricut Design Space on your computer, tablet, or iPhone. I want you to open a new project on the, new cam on the Canvas page. We're simply going to write some text on our one inch circle today. So this is what I chose. And then you can choose your font. You can either pay for a certain font. You can choose what you like, but today we're just gonna choose from the free ones. Um, I like some boxy bold letters. Next, you're gonna just shrink it down. We gotta shrink it all the way down to oh, one inch box where our circle is going to be. So we've got to match this up as good as we can to where we think it'll fit on our circle. One thing I like, you can kind of stretch out the font a little bit right here. So I like that a little better. So another thing we like to do is do three passes over it to make it deeper and more defined. So we make three copies of our font. And before we can move on from here, we have to change the matte color on the next page so that we can see it, it defaults to black. And so we just change it color so we can actually see on the next page. So now we go to the upper right corner, make it. Here's our three dreams. Again, I'm going to zoom in as close as I can. This is the point where you are going to match it on exactly where your circle piece is on your page, on your mat. Now at this point, we're going to put them on top of each other. And so now that it's gonna be deeper. Another thing is if you have an iPhone or an iPad, there's a feature called Snap Mat, and that icon will be in the bottom left corner. As you click that, it'll have you take a picture of your mat and the placement of your material. So your circle, where it is on the mat, and it will match up with the computer. So it'll always be exact. That feature is really awesome. But today, for those that don't have an iPhone and iPad, we are just doing it on the computer. So now that we have that all matched up, we're going to continue. It's connecting machines. Set material. Browse all material. The best thing we found is just the heavy cardstock. That we setting we put on. It's not metal, but that's good. And now we will move over to the machine and how to set that up. Before we load the mat, we're going to put double-sided tape down on our mat where we're putting our circle so that it doesn't move around while it is etched. Now with the circle, there's a white side, it's plastic, and you peel it off to make sure there's no scratches on our circle. Now we're gonna place it where right exactly in the center of the square where we want that. Now we're going to put the tool in the, the tip in the tool. So we're going to go here and just screw it on nice and tight. Now put it in the machine. Clip that on. Now we're ready to load our mat. And just put that in. And you push the load button. And now we just 
press go. Before you unload the map, you're going to want to check out your edge and see if you like it or not. And if you like it, go ahead and unload the mat. If not, you're going to, you can take out the tool and you can change the tip. You can change it out for the more precision tip if you want more of a deeper and more precise cut. And you can replace that. And you can press go again. Here we are with our final product, a cute necklace. We put on the chain, it looks so cute, I'll be wearing that. And we also made a bracelet. It says, be courageous. It's hard to see with the lighting, it's super cute. And we also made this sign to put up in my house. I'm really excited about it. Thank you for watching our video and remember to subscribe to our channel below for more instructional videos and project ideas to come. Hope to see you soon.